just talk about um being in a long distance relationship first and foremost what's good to smith family okay so being in a long distance relationship is pretty hard because for one if you're so used to being with your mate and you can't be with your mate like it depresses you at times like it most definitely challenges and questions your loyalty um Going to, like, being with somebody every day, coming home to them, them coming home to you, you sleeping with them every night, versus nobody's coming home to you, you're not coming home to nobody, like, you can't sleep, you know, you're not sleeping with him, you're not sleeping with nobody or whatever, like, it's, it's, it's saddened, it's, it's really, it really hurts, honestly, it really does, like, Honestly, I wouldn't wish um, what I'm going through on my worst enemy. I really wouldn't because it is very hard. It really is because you have days where you want to scream, you want to get mad, you want to cry, you know, you're upset, you're taking out on people, you don't know why, you're cursing them out, you don't know why you're yelling at them, you don't know why they treat you, then you're treating them bad. Some days you're happy, some days you're not. Like... Then, like, having a kid on top of that, like, I love my kid. I do most definitely love my kid. I would have her a million more times if I had to. But it's like, being a single mom, it has its ups and downs. Like, and I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm a single mom because my baby daddy left me and he don't want to be in my life. No, that's not the case. Like, I knew what the situation is. I knew what I was getting myself into. But it's like, I wish that he was here to see her, like, do new things. She's starting to try to turn over. Like, I, you know, I want to enjoy those moments with him. And that's what hurts me sometimes the most because... It's like we created this beautiful baby and he's not around to be able to see it or see her do new things. Like she smiles, like it's stressful sometimes. It is. And then it's like the weight is all on you. Nobody understands that. People just think that you're acting rude and stuff like that for no reason. And it's like, you have a reason. You really do have a reason. Like, imagine the love of your life being taken away from you for X amount of time. Like, how would you feel? How would you feel if you had somebody that was your best friend and y'all was there, you know, around each other all the time and then, all, like, poof they take in and they can't come back for you know a little minute or whatever but like there's pros and cons in um our relationship because it's like being where he's at it's like it's miscommunication so sometime you know we're arguing with each other and not realizing like yo we're only arguing because we miss each other like we're only arguing because we can't see each other every day like we're only arguing because we can't like do the things that we usually w used to do like honestly i can say that is definitely testing our relationship whether our relationship is real or not if it's fake or not like i feel like everybody that's in a relationship needs to be put through a test i just feel like what i'm going through right now is just a test in order to see like if we're really truly meant to be together or we're not meant to be together like 
Because don't get me wrong. Everybody could sit down and be like, oh, well, let's see. Oh, is she going to be loyal? Let's see if she going to fuck off on him, which I'm not. But, you know, everybody's sitting here saying and putting their eyes on me like, oh, she might be doing this. She might be doing that or whatever the case might be. But it's like it works two, you know, it works two ways. It, you know, it's not just me. Like, what if I'm in the back of my mind saying, like, okay, what if he's calling this person? What if he writing this person? What if he writing that person? Whatever the case might be, you know, which he's not. But it's like you have that them thoughts that run through your mind. Like, just like he's sitting here probably like, oh, she probably, like, what is she doing? I can't talk to her right now, you know, or for circumstances or whatever the case might be. He's might thinking the worst. And, like, I could think the worst, too. So, it's like, that's why I'm giving an example of the music like the miscommunication not being able to talk or whatever and just thinking the worst into the relationship and then it's like by the time like you write the person it's like you're pouring your heart out to them but it's like you're mad at the same time and not really knowing why you're mad you get what i'm saying i think some of y'all do get what i'm saying like But the best feeling in the world is when you do get to see that person after even if it's weeks, months, or whatever, and you finally get to see that person. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's like, damn, like, is it really you? Like, is you in person? Like, it's us. Like, give me kiss, babe. Give me hug, babe. Like, kissing 24-7, whatever. But, yeah, it has its pros and it has its cons. It does. But, like, I'm doing this shit. I'm doing this mom thing. I'm doing this fiance girlfriend thing. Like, I'm holding my shit down. I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm trying to be the best mom that I could be, you know, even though my baby's young, show her different things, show her new things. She, like I said, when I was um pregnant and before I gave birth, I was like, oh, like I'm going to take her to church and we're going to go to church all the time. And that's exactly what I've been doing. The only time like me and her don't go to church is if like the weather's bad, it's raining or something like that. Or, like, she, like, caught a little, you know, caught a little something, and I don't want to bring her out in the weather or whatever. But, like, I honestly feel like, you know, what's happening right now, like, me being in a long-distance relationship, it made me more mature. I'm not going to sit here and say that I wasn't mature, but it actually made me mature than what I was before. Like... It really, like, show me what it is to be responsible. I really became so responsible when it come down to me and my daughter, you know. Like I said, it's just a test, and it's only making me better. Like, I do this mom thing by myself. I do everything by myself. Like, I have some help, you know. Here and there, whenever I want to get in the shower, like my mom, she, you know, watch the baby sometime while I want to get in the shower, you know, while I go to work, you know, they, they watch the baby, but it's like, I do all this by myself, pampers by myself, wipes by myself, clothes by myself, like I do everything by myself, like and this shit is just making me so strong. Like, I'm going to make sure that my baby got everything she needs, if not more. Like, everybody could say whatever they want about me. But they could say that I'm crazy in love with my baby daddy. One. Two, I'm on my shit. And three, I'm a bomb-ass mom. That's, that's the only thing. They might sit down and say, oh, Angel, your mouth is crazy, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I'm doing what I got to do. Like, I'm doing exactly what I got to do. And I'm doing everything that I said I was going to do. 
or whatever. My mirror is like distracting me. But yeah. I got this new watch today. It was supposed to be fifteen dollars. This is like the casino um G Shock watches and it was supposed to be fifteen dollars and I got it for thirteen dollars. But yeah, like this time is really testing to see where like our love is, you know, if it's real, you know, it's gonna continue. If it's not real, then you're gonna see eventually, you know, somebody's true colors. And I'm not sitting here wishing anything bad on my relationship or Callie's father or any of that, but you know, time will only tell, you know, when he come home or whatever the case might be. Tom will only tell. But one thing I can say is before he left, he made sure he gave me the best present in the whole entire world. And that was our baby girl. Like, God knew what he was doing when he put me and him together. Because when I tell you our baby is smart. Our baby is smart. Like, she do some things that you wouldn't even think that she would do at three months. She been doing some things from when she was a month, two weeks old, and you wouldn't even believe. Like, my baby girl already says hi. They'll say hi, 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 hi. She'll say hi, hi, hi. Like, this little girl is only three months I thank God every day for her and him and the family that, you know, the new family that he has given me and it's only making me, you know, be a better person, be a better woman for myself and be a better woman for my baby and be a strong mom for my baby. Like, I really thank God. I really do. But yep, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I know I was all over the place in the video. But, you know, like I said, I'm trying to be real with you guys. And I'm trying to, you know, vlog a lot and, you know, do story times and stuff like that. But it's like, if you see that, like, you know, I'm all over the place when I'm talking, then you can, like, be in my head where my head is at. But... Not really where my head is at, you get me? Like, you can see a little bit where I'm coming from, basically. But, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions, you know, I'll be able to answer them. If you are, you know, going through some things that I'm going through, then, I could, you know, I could probably help you. We could, you know, I could talk to you about it, maybe, you know, but...